For the last couple of days, AI has been trending and I became obsessed with this fascinating thing. Tried lots of tools all over the internet and using two of my favorite tools, I made this beautiful user interface with a parallax effect. First, I will show you how I made this effect. Then I will share my favorite tools that can help you too as a UX UI designer. Hi, this is AB Abir. Welcome to my channel, Design Thinking. Let's get into it. First of all, thanks a lot for clicking on my video and I am sure you're having a fantastic day. So before I start this particular design, I had an imagination in mind that I'm going to make some sort of 3D looking parallax effect type design. And after some searching and tweaking and typing my imagination, AI tool give me this perfectly looking beautiful design, which I can actually break down into separate layers and play with it. So this is the final image I got from AI and I break it down into separate layers using the magic of Photoshop. As you can see, the sky, the hills, the forest, the stony mountain and the garden are all separated. But if I select all and place on top of each, it just looks like the same. But now it has a separate layer for each of the, you know, sections of this image. I also look for a few other variations uh, of image for this particular project and obviously as it's a website I do need a logo so I also make this using the AI. So the first thing I'm going to do I'm going to uh, copy this particular image which has all the layers in it not the solid one obviously and going to paste this in my frame it's a bit small i'm going to resize this so shift and drag that is fantastic let's rename this let's call it home one because there is going to be home two as well so to make this a website i have to place some elements to make it more website-y so i have the navigation bar the icon and a solid layer to give it a more contrasty looks and meets the accessibility as well so next at the bottom, I'm going to place a solid rectangle, something like this. So out of frame now, bring it in and place it in the center. And I'm going to use it a bit more up here. And definitely this particular rectangle should be placed at the bottom. So to do that, you can just right click on it and select this send to back or you can use the keyboard shortcut as well. So next, uh, I have to place few more elements. So there should be a header text, something like this, and definitely a button as well. So target here is when I scroll up, uh, this text and this button should be hide under this forest and stony mountain and purple garden. So this particular element should be in front of the sky and the mountain. So to do that, I have to figure out which one is the sky and which one is the mountain. So as far as I guess, this this layer right here is the sky. So let's rename this. And this one is ice mountain. As I rename this, so all I have to do just from the layer tab, I have to select the H1 tag and the button and pull down right above the ice mountain right here. So now if I move this particular layer, which is the purple garden, as you can see, this is definitely above the text and the button. Okay, at this point, I'm going to place a few more elements uh, for the next section. So first one is uh, the next section title. So I'll place this right above here. And uh, this is right at the center at this point. So this is right now is 43. This is the size of the section title, but it will be 32 in the next section. I make this bigger be because of some, you know, dramatic shift when i make the final animation so this is definitely should not be appeared here so i'll just pull from the layer tab i'll just put this below the sky but above the rectangle this rectangle and i also have to put some other elements something like this and this should be right below here again at the layer tab as you can see these particular elements are above everything this should not be above everything this should be right below the sky but above this particular rectangle i'm going to change the organization bit more something like this like a staircase uh, so that when the final animation done 
it will look like that uh, this elements came one after another with a slight delay so it will look a bit more alive now i do not need this for now so let's make a copy of this okay now the second part where actually you shift everything up and make appear the second section from it so let's start with the purple garden so i'll just push it right above here till you cannot see this it is inside the frame for sure but it is out of the frames visibility but if you want you can actually make it visible by uncheck this clip content as you can see this is visible now but let's make it invisible for now now next let's move this stony hill then this forest so what I'm doing here, I'm just moving it up until it's not visible inside the frame. Now the mountain and finally the sky. I think that's good. And is this hero text and the button, which also I should move. It is great. Uh, from the layer tab, I'll select the button and move it a bit more just to make it a bit more dramatic. That's it. Now, as you can see, uh, the exclusive package, which is the next section's title, is uh, visible now. So before I do anything with this, I have to push this rectangle to the top, uh, right above here, maybe a bit more, just to be safe. And let's select the exclusive package from the layer tab, and I will definitely bring it down a bit. Then I make the font size smaller, 32 looks good. So as I was mentioning, it will looks like that it is coming down from somewhere and place it right there, which looks a bit more dramatic. And finally, I have to place this elements right here and reorganize this. That is looking great. And I think everything looks good. Let's make it regular as it's not at the home right now. So yeah, that is almost it. Now I have to make the screen size smaller and now select this and reduce the height to let's say 810 nice this one as well 810 very good i do need bit more space at the bottom so let's select this three element with the tag and push it bit up nothing too much i think that looks good for now great now the final part let's prototype this so let's go to the prototype tab and select this button from the layer tab and direct this to the next frame. I should definitely select smart animate and let's select ease in and out and a bit more time might look good. So instead of 300 ms, I'll select 3000 ms, which is basically three seconds and i'll do the same from the second page as well but from the home navigation button i'll direct this to the first page again and for this i'll select instead of three seconds i'll select five seconds great everything looks good now let's see if it is works or not the first impression is this looking good now let's click here It is actually looking very good, but I might add a simple detail to this. I'll make this purple garden a bit more blurry when it's going up. So let's go to the second frame and try to figure out which one is the garden is. Maybe um, the first one, obviously. So for this, I'll just Add an effect, select layer blur and add 60 pixel blur. Now let's see how that looks. So as you can see, this has became a bit blurry when it's going up. Little detail, but looks great and makes sense. So that's it. It is very simple to do and within a very short time. As you are still with me, here is my favorite UI tool that I have used for this amazing UI design. The first one is Midjourney. To use it, you have to go to Discord and join the Midjourney server. And type imagine slash in the chat box and then type whatever you wanted to create in the prompt. Now give it a bit of a time. 
it will start creating four different versions as per your description you can have different variations from any of this or you can upscale anyone you like with a click of a button it's not free by the way you can create a limited amount of images but after that you have to pay for it the second one is chat gpt this is another simple tool you just have to type whatever you need and it will start writing a paragraph on that topic as you can see i typed about holiday packages and it started writing as you asked for so the good news is this is 100 percent free well for now Using these tools, you can get really cool inspiration and copyrighted text and it will really help you while you are doing the research before you start the design. And in the future, AI tool will be more involved in the process of your research and designing and just be the part of it, be the part of future. That's all for today. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, please subscribe. And if you're looking for some sort of cool resources for illustrations for your next project, you have to look this video and I'll see you in the next one. Have a nice day.